you don't know, you damn well should know. My name is Rag Reynolds, and this is a debate with this person, for some reason, who has a Wattpad name in their name, you know, I'm, I'm not even getting into that, but this person wanted to debate me about my time traveling adventure so I'm gonna call this person now and we'll see what they wanted to debate me about. You wanted to debate me about how I time traveled is that correct? Okay then go on start, start. ask whatever you want to ask make your point. How would I have powered my time machine? I can't answer that quite honestly because you see, I, I think you're maybe uh, misunderstanding something here. So, I am here in this present time. In my video about time travel, that wasn't the version of me you are speaking to. That was the older version of me. That was me from the future. And when me from the future came back, he decided to make a video, for whatever reason, to warn me, to warn the world about what was going to happen in the future with the B word. So he came back, and after that, he, he went back to his time. I have been trying to communicate with this man. I have been trying, and I have had minor success. But asking him how he powered his time machine has been pretty low on my priority list. So I haven't gotten to that yet. But I didn't go back in time and kill my granddad. Because I am sitting here. I know I did not do that. Maybe the future version of me has tried that. Maybe the future version of me did that. And maybe on his timeline, my granddad doesn't exist. But in my timeline where I am, I, I, I'm, I'm still here. My granddad's alive. I, I didn't kill any granddads. I'm saying there are multiple timelines, multiple universes. Sure, yeah, let's, let's go with that. How many? How, how many do you think? Infinite? That's, that's not a number. I don't know, you tell me, Mr. Scientist. That's, that's future me, that's not me now. A different version of me. Are, are you the same person you were five years ago? What, 40 years? How old do you think I am? So you think the me, my, the future me looks 40? Are you delusional? I must ask, is that your real accent? That, th that, that was two different statements. You kind of contradicted yourself there. So what was the answer? Okay, thank you. Back to time travel. So do, do you dispute? that I time traveled or are you just trying to ask how it happened? Why not? Why, why didn't, why don't you think I time traveled? Are you, are you trying to call me a liar? Okay. And so, if you don't think I time traveled, then how did that video on my channel get uploaded? So you're calling me a liar. So you are calling me a liar. That's a, that's a pretty horrible, damning, disgusting, heinous accusation to throw at someone. You're going to stand by that, yeah? I can't think of any lies I've ever told off the top of my head. And if I can't think of any, then I'll just assume that no, I've never lied. I mean, it's possible, but I can't think of any. So for the time being, I'm going to say no, I, I haven't lied. Because I can't think of any lies I've ever told. So Maybe, maybe I did when I was like five years old or something. Maybe, maybe there's something I don't remember. Maybe something's slipping my mind. But as far as I'm aware, at this moment in time, no, I've never told a lie. So... We're not talking about Australia, we're talking about time travel. Australia has nothing to do with time travel. Doesn't matter how far or forward you're, you're going to go in time, you're never going to just suddenly stumble upon it. Well, I, I think I think we made that clear already. I, I, do, I don't know the specifics because it was future me and I'm not in contact 100% with future me because future me went back to his own time. He was only here to issue a warning, to issue a message. To spread the word of what happens in the future. And then he went home. Well, the word on its own didn't destroy the future. It was a combination of things that the word helped introduce. The word uttered in, ushered in a new era where it was okay to just use slurs to bully old people. And eventually those old people were, basically became a, a, a targeted race, a targeted class of people. And those old people were basically murdered by society. They had to go into hiding. That's what happened. The worst word in the world. You're clearly very ignorant on this subject and I recommend you go do some research and figure out what you're talking about before you continue. 
Oh, you've watched all my videos? Okay, and so watching those videos, you should understand that it's a horrible, bad word. Right, when I tell you something, I don't need a source. I am your source. You just take my word for it, okay? Only old people take people's word for things. If anything, old people are less likely to take your word for things. Because it's such a bad word. <sighs> Do you have a question about time travel? And what was the question? And and I have explained to you that I cannot answer that question because I do not know. It was me from the future who made the time machine, not me here. Because I know that me from the future came back here, made a video to warn the world. You are the one who is doubting that and is saying I somehow edited it as if I have the editing capability to do that. M maybe with years of practice. Yeah, but we're not we're not talking about simple editing. We're talking about very high end special effects. I don't have the budget to implement those things. Have you seen the Avengers? Do you know how many millions it took for them to put certain effects in that movie? Yes, they were because they weren't effects. They were real. They were the most advanced thing you would ever see. This is this is technology that would cost billions of dollars to implement in a single YouTube video. If that's what you're accusing me of. I what? Yeah, that's that's the quality of the video, the resolution of the video. All the rest of my videos weren't filmed and uploaded by me from the future. M maybe there's an explanation for that. Maybe when he time traveled there was something that messed up his camera that he had with him. Maybe he needed to upload a smaller file because he didn't have that much time to stick around. So he thought, okay, I'll put it in lower quality so that it uploads faster. Ever think of that? Well, yeah, because it's, it's, it's technically a different person from me. I mean, me, 40 years or whatever it is in the future, he, he's a completely different guy. He has different, he has different uh, views in the world about life. He, he's not the same guy as me. He's who I will become. He's who I'll become, but he's not who I am now. Sure, he's who I'll become in the future. Why wouldn't he have killed my grandmother? Why does it, why does it have to be against a guy? You're, you're really against my granddad for some reason, and I'm not sure why. I don't appreciate that, so could you please get off that subject? Well, I'll have you know my grandmother is already dead, so... She was dead before I was born. She was dead before I was born as well. She died in just, just as... <sighs> Let's move on. Why would he? Why would? Why would he have done that? You think he's a monster? You think? You think he's just out there murdering people? Just because you like to murder people in your free time doesn't mean everyone else does. You're the psychopath here, not us. Well, it does matter here, and it matters to him in his timeline. It matters to him. Was he just going to wipe out the rest of human race in his timeline? He's who I will become. If I have to keep dealing with people like you, then yeah, maybe. That's not what I said. Well, then that wouldn't be murder, that would be justified. No, it'd be self-defense. Well, yeah, yeah, you can go to court and say that. Whether or not they take your word for it, whether or not they think that's a good reason is a completely different thing, but you can do that. Well, you don't know that either. What if I get a very sympathetic judge who agrees with me about the B word? Maybe he's seen my videos and agrees. Maybe he's one of the people commenting, yes, thank you for making this video. Maybe that's the judge I get, and maybe he just gives me a pass for this one. Most of them are, correct, yes, most most of them, but that's not all of them. I have a solid base of support. So you, you're just very close-minded then, that's what I'm getting from this. So because you can't wrap your mind around how something could exist or be real, that just means it can't be and that I'm a liar. That's what you're saying. We're not talking about a country. No, I don't want to hear your stupid example, use a different one. Albinos. No, it's not. What is your evidence that it's close-minded? Well, I, I can. I'm just saying I think it won't. I'm, I'm happy to hear the evidence. I'm quite optimistic. I'm just giving you a little prediction there. That wasn't me saying, oh, this is a definite thing. I suppose it's every, everything's possible. Pretty much everything, yeah. 99% of things. Incorrect. Because I just told you. No, I didn't. I said, I said 99% could happen. That's a very black and white way of thinking about the world. That is not what I said. Correct. That that does not mean that 1% will not happen. Well, I mean, there's a lot of possibilities there. It could be a 1% could maybe happen. It could be 1% or little p possible of happening. 
1% are things I couldn't conceive of happening. 1% of things that have already happened. There are, a lot of, there are a lot of ways to go there. You're just making a lot of assumptions and viewing the world in a very black and white way and I don't think that goes very well. It's not a very good image for you. So I'd recommend you go back home and sit down, maybe write up some notes and work on your mindset. Work on how you're actually viewing the world because you seem like a very close-minded person and you would be wrong. That's the difference. Well, I'm not because I have just proven it to the entire world and the comments of this video will reflect that. I, I think they will. If there's even a single comment there, you will be eating your words. A single person will say, yep, that guy, it was wrong, and Rag Reynolds proved his point. And I guarantee you there will be many comments that say that. Anyway, we need to wrap this up. I've had enough speaking to you because you clearly have no idea what you're talking about. You're trying to call me a liar in a roundabout way, and I do not appreciate it. So if you have a final statement to make, you may make it now. If not, get out of here. Ooh. <laughs>